If your allergies are acting up, you may be able to place the blame on your Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, health experts actually call it Christmas tree syndrome, and Kennedy Walker has been digging into this, trying to figure out exactly what it is, but it impacts not only real trees, but fake trees. Yes, it does, and this is so bizarre to think about, right? But everyone seems to be coughing and sneezing more lately, and your Christmas tree, whether real or fake, could be the culprit. Both real and fake trees can carry dust, insect droppings, and mold, leaving you not feeling so merry and bright this holiday. Most of our trees are already up, so you may not be able to clean them properly at the moment, but doctors say it's best to rinse off real trees with a significant amount of water and shake them while still outdoors in order to remove some of the excess allergens and irritants. Now, if you have a fake tree like myself, try vacuuming the branches to remove dust that may have accumulated while in storage. If they're using a live tree, it's a pine tree, and those aren't pollinating in the middle of winter. But they're live things that are dying, and what grows on dying things is mold. Now, according to the American Christmas Tree Association, studies show that Christmas trees can carry about 50 types of mold and can increase the number of mold spores in an apartment by more than six times. Now, the longer the tree stays in your home, the higher the mold spore count can get. Experts say if your reaction to Christmas trees is respiratory, purifying the air in the room with the tree could also help. So moving an air purifier in the room to trap allergens would be your best bet. So to be clear, Christmas tree syndrome isn't a reaction to the tree itself, but what is on the tree. Coming up in the next hour, we will tell you some of the symptoms to watch for, but uh, that go beyond just coughing and sneezing.